Hello everyone and welcome to the Monday football show that actually comes out on a Tuesday. That is the official title of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I came up with. Um, welcome, I hope you're all well. I've got two very special guests with me, both debutantes, the one and only Olivia Bozaglo. Hello Olivia. Hi. Uh, and my boy Ethan White who also Oh that was to... a really rubbish yeah, intro but compared like... to mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just my mate Ethan, okay. yeah, that's fine. One of my best mates, Ethan White. <laughs> Who used to play professional football um, and is a legend and also a photographer. You right, mate? What's up, my guy? How are you, man? I'm good, bro. Welcome to <laughs> England, London. Thank you, bro. There's a lot that's gone on. <laughs> there's a lot that's going to happen this week as well because there's Champions League. Yes. Um, Excited. Which Arsenal aren't. And Leggy. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And Leggy. Um, you, haven't been, first... you haven't been for the last five, have you? All right, you're starting early. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Europa League still is still European yeah, football, right? so a little bit of context. Olivia, Chelsea fan, mm -hmm. also works with Chelsea and does Premier League stuff. And then Ethan, Arsenal fan. So that's right. Yeah, come on. I'm outnumbered. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, growing up, like there wasn't any, there wasn't, there wasn't that much football on TV. Oh yeah, true. So it's Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal had, was like to played be. the best. Or brand United? Of football. Was it United back yeah, then? Yeah, United. Up? A but bit of Chelsea. I, I feel like United wasn't cool though. No, they were. They were. I mean, they were Ronaldo and like for like yeah, a, la a later we phase. Yeah, I was going to say like, how old are we talking? Like for me, like, when, like when did you start supporting? I probably Arsenal? started around like nine, so eight, nine, so nine ten. Around what year that? Was yeah, that? so it's basically United or Arsenal. Yeah, Chelsea now. So Cantona. A little bit late. It's quite cool. Yeah, but like for me, especially being a black person, like oh yeah, it's got to be Arsenal. Isn't it? I was like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's true. my option. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's my option. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, playing that brand of football, like. I was mm. like, this Arsenal. Okay, so we'll start. Obviously, Man City, Arsenal, title race. Mm -hmm. That's happening. Mm -hmm. um, Man City, because that happened yesterday. Did you watch the games? Yeah, I watched uh, Pep playing three three defenders weirded me out. I don't really? Know. Yeah. Then... What, what do you mean? I know, I know it's Pep and we're just like, yeah, he does that. But mm -hmm. like, he just play. And considering like their form recently, it hasn't been great, has it, no. Cities? No. So the fact that he did that was just like, yeah. Yeah. But they but were then, wicked in that first time. But then even the, the game before, he didn't play with De Bruyne. Everyone's like, what are you doing? Good. Now he plays De Bruyne again and they look really good. Mm. Actually, I don't think they actually looked very good. And also, I don't, De Bruyne didn't do very much. He Obviously, needs to do more for my FPL team, though, because it's really it. winding me I up. Don't play, I don't play that anymore. You need to play it well, do you? It takes either. up far too much of my time. Exactly, I, but, like, but, I don't like the way people pick teams. What do you mean? Because it's not... Your, people aren't digging for like, oh, Ami Ron's going to have a good year this year, so I'm going to pick Ami Ron. You know what I mean? People will be like, I'm going to get three City players, three Liverpool players, three oh, Arsenal you know, players. You, it's you, just like... Yeah, yeah. You know, you have to have some of those players. You, you obviously pick the players that are going to, for the from the best teams, because yeah. they're obviously going to do the best over the course That's of the season. True. But you for, are going to have like a few of those little players. But for me, it would yeah. be like betting as well. I don't like betting anything Arsenal. I'm not going to bet. I so know. the same thing. I'm not going to put Arsenal players in my FPL. Yeah, yeah. Like, jinxing. It ruins like I don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Now they're only, was it three, three points? Three points behind. Three points but we do have a game in hand. However, if they beat you. I know. They then go level on points with you. Oh. The pressure's on. So this is going to be my first question, I so. right? City... What do you mean? You don't, what, you don't think the pressure's on? I mean, of course the pressure's on because it's a title race, but like... This I don't is the think first this... time that they've been close. They, they, they could go level on points with you. You've had like always like a three or five point gap, haven't you? Yeah. So. But I think that was just going to happen no matter what. This was going to come. Ooh. And also before before um, the World Cup as well, it was, it was that close. It's not like we've just suddenly... Got yeah. this massive gap. It's, what it was has it? Been close. What was it? It was like I think it was basically either equal, but we had a game in hand and we won, won the game that. in hand. So it was like I three points, my mm -hmm. so and then bad. eventually that went to like five, and then. But it has been. I don't know. I think now, but just because the title race and the title dream is so much more real, mm. that's where the pressure is, though. Yeah. If it's, I was in that, I, was, I would be pooing. Well, myself. I worry because now it feels like expectation and not a hope. Yes. For us, for, as supporters, mm. it's like now, we expect to win the title, but like I don't want to expect. Mm. If, if we you did know. win the league, would you be upset now? Or not, obviously, yeah. we did upset. But as in, would you be disappointed because you think we should have yeah. actually done it? Yeah. yeah. I only feel that way. We just had a conversation about this. Yeah. Because I think in order to win now, we only have to beat the teams we should beat. I agree. Yeah, yeah. but having said that... Mm -hmm. That your last two games you didn't beat the exactly. teams you should. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I'm so like, maybe the pressure maybe, is telling a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. it is true, though. The performances I think... have been a bit like... Literally the whole season all we've spoken about is Arsenal being so looked mm -hmm. so good and just so dominant really in every intense. single game yeah. they've played. They've literally, apart from that Man United game, where you actually played quite well, I thought, yeah. in that in that defeat, every game you thought, well, Arsenal have deserved that. Yeah. yeah. But the last two, Everton, they were poor. Yeah. And against Brentford, Brentford, albeit the goal shouldn't have counted, 
Mm. But they should. The, we also should have been. They should have been. Yeah, yeah do you know what I mean? So. They had chances, so it's it's not even like it's now a, just slightly worrying that the performances aren't there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's well, not like, worrying for me, but I think it's probably a, it's, a, it's a combination <laughs> of a few things. I think though, because it's like one fatigue probably has something to do with it, right? Where yeah. the same 12, 13 players mm. basically played mm-hmm. every game. Maybe a bit of like the players have maybe become a bit lax because they know they're going to start. I'm not picking anyone out in particular, but as yeah. in, in general, yeah. the 11 knows they're going to start yeah. every game. So there's not that like urgency to really have to perform apart from we just want to win. Yeah. Well, that's... I feel like there's also players that haven't, They ha- like we're, you're coming up against a City team that have been there and done it. Every single player in their squad practically has won it. That's the Whereas worry. Arsenal have got no one, pretty much. Jorginho apart, now. Apart from our, apart from our, Jorginho and. Well, our I mean, Jorginho's never won the yeah, Premier no. League, yeah, and and Den- Ding Chen Ko and obviously Jesus. But even then, but... they're used to the, those absolute top levels of pressure and. Like, they've been success, there, done it in like it. yeah. So yeah, I but you don't all... think that last year's capitulation on Arsenal's end. Mm, they've learned something. They've from learned that. They've learned something from that for sure. You'd like to think they have. Uh, hopefully, I we'll, think we'll, we have. We'll obviously find we, out. Yeah. We are a different animal now. You can tell. Yeah, everybody's gonna drop points. City's gonna drop points again. It's a long season. There's still, and I think like when we, when we usually get to this point in the se- like this time in the season, mm-hmm. there's actually not that many games to go. Mm. Whereas now we've yeah, practically this... still got still half a season yeah. to go. Yeah. So there's still so much football to play. That's why. So I saw on Twitter yesterday, someone said they think, and I don't know if I agree or not. They think Wednesday's game, Arsenal against City, is the biggest game of the Emirates era for Arsenal. No. In the league. In, in the, the league. league. In, the, in league. the league, yes. I think so as well. Because obviously yeah. Champions League, we've had like against Man United, against yeah. Barcelona. But in the league, in the league I think yeah, it is because... In the league, I would agree. Even though we had like title race kind of run-in sort of things in like 2010, 2008, 2010, mm-hmm. 2016. Leicester. I never really believed that 2016 no. one. No, uh, no yeah. Even then, you did. What was that game? Leicester, you scored a last minute winner. Leicester. Yeah, that was when that, every, that was your big, Arsenal fans no, started okay, believing. They did. They okay, that, that, yeah. before, that was the worst. But before that game, it didn't feel like this yeah, is it. Yeah. Whereas this, this game feels so significant, not even just because of the points, but because of what it says to like, if we beat City, mm. then we're like, nah, we're, we're going to win it sort of thing. It's putting that statement down. Oh, if you Yeah, beat, but if I don't you, like that feeling. I don't think we no, have me to me, win. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't think we have to win that game. No, you don't have to. It's, no. not, it's not a must win, but if you do win. Not necessarily a title decider. Mm-hmm. But but symbolically, maybe. Symbolically, it might be a little bit of a... Because I think... I just. Think, I, don't think, I don't think we can really have that conversation until like Europa League's back, Champions League's back. Oh, yeah, true. Because then I think that's going to change so much. City yeah. go further. Because you know? also, realistically, City surely care more about the Champions League than because they need to yeah. win the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. Which is great for us. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But they've got Leipzig. Do you know what I mean? Like they're walk yeah, past true. Leipzig. Yeah. But it's then when they get the, into the next yeah. quarters. Obviously, VIR was a bit crazy. Mm-hmm. But I won't blame that, obviously, because we can't. should we should have played better yeah, anyway. Can't. But the fact that just don't don't miss the offside I can't actually believe yeah. it, it, I can't well, actually believe it happened the thing is it's not a lot of people are saying oh it's like this is the problem with VAR it's not the VAR's problem mm. it's literally the person just, oh, the person the individual person just spotting that mm. I should draw a line there I think yeah. that the problem was was that so much went on in the build up to that exactly, goal yeah. that they, yeah. they spent three minutes um, trying to work out whether Pinnock was blocking yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Gabrielle right, yeah, yeah. Right. and so and then I think I read today um, that it then took 14 seconds once they realised that Pinnock wasn't offside because they couldn't see a def- definitive angle of yeah. Gab- where Gabrielle was standing. It then took 14 seconds from that moment to disallow to, to allow yeah. the goal. And it's like if you uh, maybe yeah. just taken a little bit more time on the yeah. on what had happened after that, mm-hmm. then they might have actually come to, to a diff- to the yeah. to the right conclusion. E- even then, obviously that is sort of inexcusable. But w- there were six occasions where it was basically a 50-50 duel, and we mm-hmm. lost every single one. Like I mean, Ivan, Ivan Tony every- won was, most of them, didn't he? I was at the game with Henry, and I was like, are we going to win a single yeah, it's, it, ball in the air? At all. Even Saliba missed <gasps> every he, single talk one. Talk to yeah. me about Saliba, because I've... I've He's since, great. No, no, oh my, one of the best defenders in the league mm-hmm. this season, yeah. but I, I I just saw Arsenal fans on Twitter saying, since you've come back from the World Cup, yeah. he hasn't quite been the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I, him, believe him, I don't know. I, and, I, think no, he's he, the, I think he's the only player who probably suffered from the World Cup break. Yeah. That yeah, was the way he was worried, firing right? and then and he went play. he went and didn't play the entire yeah. time. Him him and Martinelli, I'd say, are the two that are kind of struggling the most. Yeah. Out of the red. The rest are okay. Even I though think for different reasons, but yeah. And we need M's back as well. Very bad. We actually do. Is he back soon? Yeah, he'll be back very soon. Also, VAR 
controversy, but moving on to the Chelsea game. Because mm. obviously we have to talk about Chelsea because mm. you're Chelsea. Chelsea. Um, <laughs> obviously, we know. Not the... <laughs> That's exactly what I did uh, when he told me he was an Arsenal fan. So. Uh, not the best season for you. No. Promising signs against West Ham. For the, open, yeah, for the opening half an hour, I thought we looked really good. Yeah. And I was like, mm. I, I, ever since January, I've been excited. And I still am because I think... Because of the signings? Yeah, it's just like a, this now, no one expects us to get into... It's your, a brand new team. It's a brand, completely different team. It's great. Um, <laughs> no, I'm also excited because we've got like like our players back now. Like Reese James is back. Ben Chilwell's back. Yeah. Kante's back literally in a couple of weeks yeah. uh, like you know we've gone through it this season we've been hit by injuries more than anyone else and mm. i i don't mm. want to use that as an excuse but i do feel it would it would affect any team when you have six or seven first team players out yeah. injured but i think it's almost like a free hit now for because graham potter is going to be in charge no matter mm -hmm. if we get champions league or if we don't which i like i really really like that because yeah. i think there's no point sacking a manager like we did with thomas Tuchel yeah, just yeah. to bring someone in just to sack him six months later yeah, right. when he's had you know, all these players have joined. He's now got to try and yeah. help them play together and, and until he gets uh, all of his players back fit. So I'm glad he's been given time. So it just feels like it's a bit of a free hit now. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a good Champions League run, hopefully. If top four, I'm guessing you're kind of resigned to not finishing in the top. You give it a good run. But... Yeah. I still think I still think there's time for us to, to do it if we, like, you know, if we play well. But I think the problem is there's just so many teams yeah. in between where we yeah, are yeah. and the top four. Like, I, I think Man United... Um, Arsenal and City are done whereas I think Newcastle are stuttering slightly mm. I think that they're the team that if you know if we could like we could catch if but that we've got to put a brilliant run together and hope that Brighton drop off yeah. hope that Fulham drop off mm. hope that Liverpool drop off or carry on Even you like know Newcastle. yeah and yeah. hope that Newcastle carry on sort of getting these like keep yeah. drawing so I'm sort of just like, yeah, maybe one season out of the Champions League, but I think next season we'll be back. Yeah. Well, you never know because you are in the Champions League now and... You, it would be very Chelsea. Crazy things have it happened would be because very you Chelsea. literally won the Champions League in what was kind of not a great season for you. Yeah, I think when I look back on 2021, like, but we were we were so good in the Champions League. Like, yeah. we, we, we beat... You know, when I look our, our run to the final yeah. and including that City game, oh, we were the best team. Like, we deserved to mm, win it. Yeah, you know, I look yeah. back to 2012 and think, oh, we fluked our way to that Champions League, whereas yeah. that one was... This one was completely different. Yeah. I can't see it happening, but it would be very Chelsea yeah. to just to, you, to be... You think your manager's ready for that? No. Okay, no, I because he's... Ask, I wanted to ask that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think he's ready because, for... Because um, <laughs> his first... his When he took charge of Chelsea, he was... At his first Champions League game, yeah, that's and what I'm he was managing, yeah, yeah. and he was like, "This is my, yeah," and I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> "But um, yeah, no, I don't." You know, I look back and think when you had Thomas Tuchel, you had someone that was yeah. so elite in terms of like in just like a one-off knockout game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always knew that we had a chance. Whoever we like going into that City mean. game, like everyone written us off. Everyone's like, "It's the biggest game in City's history." Then, yeah. and we were apps like we just were so yeah, good so i still good. look There's back no and think no went. like everyone yeah. pulled a 10 out of 10 everyone yeah but um i think but i'm excited about then too, enzo yeah well like a ready veteran yeah. well now you've got a too. bloody squad but it's just you need just you need numbers to rather than play for a little bit i'm excited and... about enzo he's the one he looks, enzo oh my good. gosh enzo and jow for me like jow you can just tell obviously you got the red card so he hasn't played for a while but he the quality on the ball is ridiculous and i like i was always one of those these people that almost like judged him from his from his Atletico Athletic Madrid and just yeah. watched him and was like, Meh, like I, I'm not convinced. Mm. And when we signed him, I was him, never like that. I don't really watch Atletico Madrid very much. I only really watch them in the Champions League and when they of play course, Chelsea. Yeah. And mm. I didn't really get of and like Portugal. Like I didn't really get uh, Portugal but, fair. I don't think he yeah. made it up Portugal as much as Atletico. But I obviously just like, judged him. Atletico. And and obviously Simeone. Oh, like I, all I had to do was think about Simeone. Oh, yeah. He was class at Benfica, wasn't he? Yeah, when he's at Benfica, I was like, this guy is the next. Yeah. yeah thing. But when he's been given like a free role, like, I literally that first game, and I was like, he's had one training session. He's been chucked straight in oh. in like a horrible. It was horrible. It was windy. It was yeah. wet at Fulham, and I was like, first oh god. First thing he does was nutmeg. Oh, the I was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like ah. <laughs> he's like, oh every, no. Every touch up until. That one where yeah. he got sent off was just yeah. unbelievable. And even then, I did feel quite bad for him as well because you can tell he's he pulled not out. Like, and he yeah. pulled out. He like almost ones. like it was just too late. Like yeah. he'd he's obviously gone he's studs excited. up. He's yeah, excited. yeah. And it was a horrible ball as well. I blame whoever played the ball. Yeah. Too. <laughs> and Enzo we is, is great as well. Yeah, the the ball. It's nice to like have a midfielder 
one that like runs around a bit and yeah. also plays forward passes. So mm. the thing is, you do have that though. It's <laughs> no, we don't. Because, no, no, not fit. Don't so. Not fit. Oh, not fit. Yeah, not okay. fit. Okay. Yeah, because like Kovacic correct. was injured. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. Mateo Kovacic. Kante's obviously when Kante's fit, ridiculous. Yeah, but great, yeah. we literally are playing Conor Gallagher, Mason Mount, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek are the yeah, three so who try and play next. Yeah, yeah, like we're yeah. almost asking Enzo now to do everything. He's the one where I'm like, okay, yeah, we've paid a lot of money for him, but I know that he's gonna be worth it. He's the only one you feel like that. Well, Mudrick, so far, you don't I mean, I've only really watched. Really know, right? Yeah, Mudrick, I've only seen. I mean, half an hour against Liverpool, he he was brilliant, isn't he? Mm. So mm. he's genuinely one of the fastest players I think I've ever seen. Yeah, and I think he will be good, but it's just having time to play together. Yeah, yeah. it's an exciting, he's going, yeah. exciting, young, new attack, yeah. so and we for, need it for you for the season. What would be like a successful season if you said top six yeah. and then like semi final? Yeah, probably something like that. It's annoying right. that we got City away in both cups. Like, how's your luck? Yeah, but City even City away, like even one of them could have just been at home, please. I don't, yeah, but, I don't, but do you really care about one of those? No, but cups I always though? I like winning trophies. Like I like going to Wembley and I mm. like I like winning. I stuff. do as well, but not in in place of other better bigger things. Yeah, but we're not gonna win anything else. Oh, like, okay, that's I like, true, that's like true. okay, yeah, in my dream world we might go on a Champions League run and like it wouldn't surprise me if we do because that's just what we do. Yeah. Yeah. But realistically, I don't think we're gonna win the Champions League. Yeah. Realistically I think you're safe with that bet. <laughs> Yeah. You never know, actually, you know, you we look back in know. a few months' time and just Chelsea won yeah. Champions League again. It's like, yeah. fucking hell. Um, yeah, I need a third little star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little I little think star. you guys finish in like eighth. I would, do you know, but I would know. I'm not, I don't want to play you know in the I conference hope, league. I, I hope you guys get conference league. No, I yeah, don't. I'd rather so have no many Europe. Pointless games. I'd know, yeah. I would love that. <laughs> so those, many pointless although games. Although I'd have some cool trips. I'd get to go to some cool weird places that I've never yeah. been to before. Yeah, so see, selfishly. You're in the enjoying travelling phase. That's what we say. Because <laughs> I go as a fan. I get to, like, when I go as a uh, fan, it's different. You get to enjoy so you're, the... You're a proper fan. Now we're just, we're too old. Yeah. Just, just give me five Can I say, you're saying he's too old. He's two years, two years older than me. Are you two years older than me? How old are you? 30. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah, so you're okay, I was wondering, old. I was like, oh, okay. No, I am 30. <laughs> I am 30. I pulled my hamstring, so I'm officially an old man now. Yeah. So I actually feel it. Yeah. Um, but not not bad for you. Obviously, a bit unlucky with yeah. the, the handball. The old, the old mm. Suchek save down to his left. Ooh, that, that is wild. I, I think that's even worse. I remember I was, at, so I was at Palace. I was working at Palace Brighton. I was sitting in the press room, like, trying to compose myself, like, trying to not act like an absolute mm, yeah. hooligan. And when it happened, I was like... <laughs> I was like, how's that not going to be AR? And I was like, and I sat back in my chair and the girl next to me was like, you're trying to like chill, aren't you? I was like, yeah, I just need to like, because I was like, no, raging. obviously you'd be fuming. Well, yeah, any, like, because you just would be, like, wouldn't you? Be fuming, yeah. yeah. And especially because like the situation we're in where we just needed a, like a win would have been really good for us in a London derby, the way we've been, mm. and the way we played in the first half thought was really like, it was good. And yeah. I just thought like that would have been a really positive sign going into Dortmund. So it's just a little bit fresh. I mean, there's no saying we score the penalty. Like we don't even know who our penalty taker is at the moment because Jorginho's left. So yeah, um, yeah it's just frustrating. Yeah, we, but Jow, I wanted though. to know. Jao? Uh, Maybe. I think you give all the responsibility to Jao because he's so sick. Well, I mean, out of those players that were on the pitch... Mace was on the pitch, so maybe he would have taken. He's taken a Mason few. Does he yeah. take many pens? He's taken a few, but he's missed a couple and scored a couple. He missed the one in the League Cup final. That's what I always feel like with Mares. Yeah. But obviously he bagged his, but like... Yeah, yeah but also that's annoying because her... Hurling Harland? Erling Harland. Erling Harland just scored like the four pens he's taken. So, like, what? I know he was like injured, but. No, but even that was weird, though. That was weird, that whole thing where they were arguing about taking the pen. Yeah. If he was out of the Wednesday match, that would be huge. Erling? Yeah. He's not out. No, because Pep said. Definitely Pep Yeah, okay, fair. He's not out. I was just a little bit of hope. I was like, he's not out. He got like with Emmy. When they went 50 50. Oh, was that it? Okay. Then he he had like a Charlie horse and then okay. it's like, not why waste them or three another. Charlie horse. You never heard Charlie horse? A Charlie horse? It's like a bruise with like a. Oh, is that an American it? thing? Oh, it yeah, must I, don't, be. I don't know why it's called that. That's what we call it. Well, it's what I've never Americans heard Charlie really? horse. No, it's, what not, do you it's call definitely it? not an English thing. Like a contact Americans. injury, but it's not like a. It's like you can play through it. Okay. So he's basically just taken off as a precaution, wasn't yeah, he? Fair. Yeah. Yeah. A Charlie horse. Well, I think it'd be weird if I tried to call well, it that. Weirdly, a Charlie <laughs> horse. You should start. <laughs> Make it the thing. Literally, my friends would be like, "What? What's that? Make what are you thing. talking about?" A Charlie horse sounds a bit like Cockney rhyming slang, but it's not because obviously you know it and we don't. Yeah. Maybe it is though. Maybe you're just a Cockney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, Man United. They were impressive again, and I don't. Uh, were they though? I, I I don't think so. No, they weren't. I'm I thought Leeds, I thought Leeds, I thought Leeds were better. I think they are to the point of. I, I, they're not like you don't look at them and go wow these are amazing yeah. but 
they're ruthless again though. Yeah. Because Rashi. They rode their luck at times. He can't keep it up. I love him. I love him as a player, but he can't keep it up. Yeah. He can't. Maybe he can. Maybe he might. But like. But Are they in a title race? Him, right? Are they in a title yeah. race? That's what I was yeah, going to think. Yeah, you have to say yes. How many points are they behind City? Two. City, okay. I think they're two points. I think, I want to say it's... Oh, you can check if you want. Two points and then, but I think City have a game in hand. Yeah. I think. Okay. Either way, it's close enough now. And to be fair, like, their form, apart from coming to us, and mm-hmm. they are the most difficult team I think we've faced yeah, two points for the game at the hand. Emirates this season. Yeah. You have to say they're in the title race. Yeah. As much as I think they are, they have an outside, very yeah, yeah. outside chance. They are in the title race, which yeah. is crazy to think. But this, the game on Wednesday means a lot for them as well. In terms of the rest of their team, mm. Shaw's great, Rashford's great. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're just looking no, elsewhere. In terms of like going, I mean, Martinez is good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But he didn't He's even quality. play, did he? But I mean, even then, no. like, as as a team, you're just they're relying yeah. on a few very key yeah. players to, to actually get the yeah. results and I don't think you can sustain that over a you season take, to... yeah. you take Marcus Rashford like say 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 for whatever reason he's at go just starts not playing well yeah then what like genuinely yeah, exactly, they are so exactly, reliant yeah. on yeah. him right yeah. now yeah. that actually that look if we're course bags 20 goals by the end of the season then I'll put my hands up and go <laughs> fair play <laughs> yeah, but it. I just don't think that's going to happen <laughs> no <laughs> Saying that at the moment they're in the the, the title race. Yeah, you have to say that's actually mad. Do you have to go away to them? Or you have them at home? Yes, we have to go away to them. We've got to go away to Arsenal, away to Man United, Liverpool at home, Spurs away. That's that's next weekend. We've got the only hard one I think. Well, City away, City at home, Liverpool away. Hold on a second, Chelsea. We'll we'll give you a game at the Emirates. (laughs) Why? That's so that rude. That face is so mugging. That's so rude. <laughs> no way you're yeah, serious. Yeah, we, we, we've got you end of April. No, okay. How much? It, it we're actually going to have a team that can play well together right. by then. Well, okay, maybe. Yeah. To be fair, you that might have rude. picked up some form. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they take offence no, to that. But, <laughs> you have to. Um, so, obviously, by that point, you might have, you know, picked up some form. Yeah. But I think our, our home record against you is so good now. Overall, for the last few years. We'll give you a game, though. It's not going to be like... It's not going to be as easy as it was for you at Stamford Bridge. No, that's true. That was pretty easy. That was actually, yeah. That was surprising. No, that that I was really surprised. That was surprising. How easy it was. I wasn't. Retrospectively, no. Because... Seeing how they've seen like, how yeah they they obviously you were yeah. on quite a bad one. The only reason why I laughed we like were... that was because I no, think no, the way that we don't, play. No, listen, don't, you don't have I to think our style is so. Check your shit, sweat. <laughs> 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 I think this the way that we play is so is will dominate the way you play so much. Mm. I still think that I still think though it's in a completely different team, and I think we didn't really have anyone that could hurt you. Whereas I look at our team now and think, Shao yeah, Felix Mudrik, we I think we'd have players that could actually hurt you. Yeah, fair. Yeah. But, but fair. I don't know what our team's going to be like in a couple exactly, of months. Exactly. Whether the whole, t- I think. Yeah, the, whether the, we're going to have clicked. Yeah. As long as Reese James. I think plays. that's probably the most important thing is actually whether you've clicked as a team and have built like a s- proper structure to build from and we'll basically. have ev- yeah, but I mean I think fingers crossed will... we'll have everyone fit we'll have Reese James and Ben Chilwell on both things which we didn't that's have huge, that's we'll have huge. Kante in the that's middle huge. which we didn't have that's yeah, like, Kante and like Enzo years, Kante yeah. and Enzo how good's that midfield if yeah, Kante, Kante yeah I'm, I'm praying that he's going to come back the player he was and but that's I definitely still, not going to happen I think the, the clicking relies on the manager and the yeah, manager I don't obviously I don't one I don't know if the manager is asking for these players one like is that is that the style are they going to play the style that he wants to play yeah, but it takes a while for Graham Potter. Like he, yeah. uh, when you look at him at Brighton, it took two years before yeah, they started yeah. actually actually playing brilliant football, and then they yeah, that's what they I'm played. So I don't know by yeah. April, like yeah, it's true. You but got no give... chance. Yeah, you guys, you guys <laughs> signed players for like three years on the road. I think I'll see you're, you guys wor- I think you're secretly worried. I think you're. Worried. No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Tim's not either. He knows. <laughs> <that anymore. laughs> Honestly not. Honestly not. <laughs> no, it will always be a big game. Yeah. Like any of these big games. Yeah. Like mm. Form. Most most of this the North London derby form always goes yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. But any big derby mm. game, like you never yeah. know. Yeah. When is it? April. Yeah, end of April. Oh, we got Jesus. So this could back be like too. this could be like Jesus title be back. race. Should be back. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we should. We yeah, it's should like be. title race though. You could be like but exactly, that's needing the thing. to it win. Depends. Like you obviously don't know what situation you're going to be in. City are going to be true. in. It's and, and as you were yeah. saying earlier, like it do, it does depend on how we deal with this pressure. Like we do forget our team is well, it's the youngest in the league. So young. Like that is a lot of pressure to have for like. An average of 22, mm. 23 year old. So then when it comes to kind of April time, I can see how it, maybe that does weigh on your mind yeah. where like we're still two points ahead of City. Mm. This is a massive like you Would you rather be behind or ahead? Oh, no, no, of course of you co- want to be. Obviously. It's yeah. Still, yeah, obviously. but then you're looking at that game going, right, if we draw this and City win their game, 
they're level on points with us. Yeah, but it's City. City's expected to win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but as in like you're just... You know, like... I'm just saying as me, if I'm in that team, I'm I'm not... You're shitting yourself. Yeah, I'm not being composed <laughs> in any way. That's why you're sitting right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a hamstring injury. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, when you were playing though... Yeah. What, what was it... Whenever you had kind of run-ins for like the league title, or obviously the, mm. the MLS Cup, right? Yeah. Did the pressure what, get to what, you? Yeah, what's the vibe like in the dressing room? Is it like... Is it nervous? Like, it's, it's, is it, are people player. talking? Like, no. Is it just like silent? Yeah. Oh, God, that's weird. <laughs> kind of. That's weird. It's, it's just player like, player. cool. It's player to player. <laughs> like, I think some players, like, you can see them nervous. Yeah. yeah. Did you, um, were you nervous? I would get nervous actually on the way to the stadium. Mm. When I walked into the stadium, I was like, that person like, yeah. was gone. Game. Okay. Yeah, like, like, as soon as yeah. I walked onto the pitch, like pre-match. Yeah. I was like, oh, I belong in here. the zone. Yeah, I belong yeah, here. Like, yeah, yeah, like, are you more relaxed when you get there? Yeah, yeah. You know. Mm. Also, I guess because you got almost go on autopilot, right? When you're playing football, it's like, oh, I know how to, I know how to kick. Balls. Yeah, you you so train it every like, day. It, it feels so natural. Yeah, right? it's the waiting which would be the yeah. It's the, the, the anticipation of it. Yeah, yeah. Like so that's the, the I can't imagine. pregame meal. Oh, the worst. Mm. Oh yeah, you can't eat. <laughs> can't eat. Like <laughs> yeah, that's it's horrible. silent. Yeah. <laughs> All you hear is fucking forks. Ding, 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 ding. It's like, <laughs> can you fucking play it's already? Like, like, yeah, true. You know? I can't imagine like when these, when I think of like these players and like the biggest games of their lives, like the World Cup final, the Champions League final, like mm-hmm. how intense that like yeah. pre-match must be and like what think... it's like. Like I would love to have been a fly on the wall in the Chelsea yeah. dressing room and just before the game, before that Champions League final. Yeah. Yeah. Going into it as complete underdogs as well. I think your well. manager carries a lot of that though. Do you reckon? Yeah. Like, that's it's, the one thing I'll ha- Like, the leader, the yeah. manager, has mm. to, like, his tone and his energy gives off, yeah. it trickles all the way through the yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's true. Also, because your captain you can see and, like, how that would work with, especially, like, Klopp, right? Mm. Where he's such a passionate guy. Mm. Scared. If you, as long as he's not scared, you you're wouldn't not be. Scared. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So, if he's, like, laughing and making jokes, it, like, it, it Relaxes calms you down a little you, bit. Yeah. yeah. But if your manager's, like, the whole week, like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking focus up fucking yeah, focus up yeah. and you're like oh shit like yeah. something big's coming it on edge innit mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. it makes you like scared to f- scared to make the mistake that, and like, yeah. then you like think about like the back pass to the keeper yeah you know like cause that cause obviously so pay, playing under Pat being mm-hmm. Patty Vieira there's no way he's scared no he <laughs> no. must be like you're so sick man. Yeah. you've done so much bigger shit yeah. than this but he also like he had an edge to him where it was like I can't fuck up mm. too. Yeah, obviously no, he's, he's like a captain. He's, he's scary, right? Yeah, he exactly. is so scary. Yeah, he's a big, big guy. But he's, he's also really nice, lovely. Though. He's yeah. also a very, I, I, very I did, nice guy. I did Chelsea Palace yeah. um, like last month, and he came down the tunnel after the game, effing and blight, and I was just stood in the tunnel. Like mm. he walked past me, and I was like, oh god, I don't know what to say. But he, and then afterwards, once he's calmed down, he's, so he's, nice. he's lovely. Like yeah. he's really nice, but so just nice. oh, I thought you were gonna say you had to like. So sorry, mate. Can I just no, no, no. I was like, not I, even if I had to, I'd have just let him walk past because yeah, there's absolutely totally not no chance. I'm being yeah. like, can I just speak it's, to it's you not for your a fight. No, absolutely yeah, it's not. not. Your fight. No, no, he's a he's a lovely man. F- funny thing, right? So before we were actually friends, um, even though I was, I feel like we've always been friends. But <laughs> before we were, so uh, we were doing like a US tour for mm. Copper, mm. and the first stop we were in New York, and we actually had some time with Patrick Vieira as obviously the the coach of MYCC. Mm. And I didn't realise, but at the time, obviously, we were at the training ground. We were chatting to, like, Jack Harrison. Mm-hmm. And you were at the training ground and training. Yeah. And then literally, like... But you didn't know each other? No. no. But, then, uh, like, oh, this is li- cute. but then, literally, <laughs> like, two years later... Probably two years later, yeah. He's retired. Did you remember... He's... Oh, no, because, obviously, did you, you wouldn't have met. Nah, no. he, he wasn't mm-hmm. a big player. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then, like, two years later, we're working together. Yeah. Going to Madrid no, and stuff. Yeah. Going no, to Madrid, not in Irish bars. No, I know. That's not, no, not the way to do Madrid. Not, no. Our next time I go, no, I can't even lie. Like if, if Chelsea got me Real Madrid again, we would do the exact same thing. To be just fair, go and sit in the because if like... it's sun and it's sunny yeah. and all the Chelsea fans are together, mm. you're just sat there and like if I, if it's sunny, if it, I'm not moving from the sun, like I am. Yeah, su- no, I'm the same. I'm I, the same. You put me in the yeah. sun anywhere and I'm yeah. happy. Even, like today, were you I just sat outside in the garden. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just like, this is great. I can like, feel it on my face. No, I'm just so much happier in the sun. So yeah, no, that's what I mean. I'm happy to just sit in one place and drink. Vod- <laughs> vodka, fan- vodka Fanta Lemon's my drink when I go to Spain. As in Fanta Limon? Yeah, Fanta Limon. Nice, yeah. nice. It's unreal. Oh. And the, the I'm, I'm measures are really, ridiculous, I'm though. I'm not really a vodka man. Neither I'm man. not. I'm actually not. I never, ever drink vodka here. But as soon as I go to Spain, it's all I drink. See, really? that's pink or pink gin and Fanta lemon. Also a great drink. Okay, what? fair. Pink, pink gin. gin. What is that? 
It's gin that's pink. Gin that's pink. <laughs> but oh, I'm thinking it's like a special. No, it's, like, it's like gin. Oh. No, no, but it doesn't taste. So it tastes. Like gin. No, yeah. it tastes different. No, 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 it tastes differently to pink. Oh, okay. It tastes differently to gin. It's not. It doesn't taste the same. Oh, well, I presumed it was literally. No, pink no, no. It's so like, I'm the idiot. You're, you're <laughs> both. You're both idiots. No, you're both idiots. No, um, yeah. So pink gin and fanta lemon is really nice. It's quite sweet though. If you don't like that. sweet then. Um, vodka, you traveling, oh, yeah. Chelsea away, America, that sort of you to meeting. Okay, we're back. Yeah, 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 we're right. back. Um, Spurs. Mm. See this. I feel like this is the only place now where we can we can all be friends. We can all be friends. Yeah. yeah. Um, Spurs doing Spursy things mm. because somehow you just knew they're gonna they're gonna beat City and then they'll just lose. Right. Uh, how on earth can they turn up every single season, every single home time. and away against City? Yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They're the, I just every time I watch, I'm like, you know, Spurs are gonna somehow mm. win this. Mm. Yeah, and then they just go back to being. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's, it's I don't like the either. most predictable. Yeah. yeah. Set of results. Yeah. Yeah. But I to mean, get but to get great, but, but to get beaten the way they did though, like, yeah, because they they've actually done like whenever they've played badly, Spurs. Mm. I know they've lost a fair few, but like, there's been a lot of times they've played badly and won. Mm. Yeah. Whereas. That was just... Well, that was like the early hallmark of them going, oh, we actually could have a really good season. Uh, everyone's saying Conte, yeah. We're, and we're not even playing well and we're mm. still winning. So imagine when we're playing well and they just haven't played well. It's never turned Apart the Apart from City, yeah. for example. Yeah. That's it, really. I don't but really they, they, know they want, what they're I mean, doing. It'll be between... I don't think they'll get top four. I no, don't I think don't. No, I think now, really. well, Benton Core out, I think they're done. That is that out now. Six he's months. Which is ACL. Oh, is that, oh, he went off. He was like, he's huge for them. Oh. That's I mean, He's so good. And then Basuma, got, Basuma just got surgery. Okay. Yeah, on his ankle, yeah. So, yeah, so they're like... Oh, a little leapfrog of, of Spurs that's, for you, That's then. good for you, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're still a white. No, is that where we should be aiming? Oh, so yeah, that's, just a yeah, leapfrog Spurs. Great. Great. Fifth and sixth. Get your opa. And then seventh is conference. Oh, fine. I want to finish eighth. Yeah, so that's what that's what. No, eighth is nothing. Yeah. Yeah, happily finish eighth. It's just a bit embarrassing. Give me eight. You deserve seventh. Yeah, I think. No, I, I think, don't no, know. No, but that's you deserve seventh. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, because the thing is, surely as well, like in the players' heads, they're they all know this, right? Yeah. Because obviously they're not affected by seventh, eighth, or whatever. Apart from you, you just have to go mm. to these point point mm-hmm. games. Yeah. Obviously, money's a thing, but. In their heads, but they can't throw a game. You can't. No, throw they a game can't because you always. No, obviously, if win. we're in it, I yeah. want to win it. Like, if we're in it, I want to win it. But you I don't. Wanna, you want to win the Europa League conference? Yeah, because then we can actually say we've won everything there is to win. We've already won everything. But if we win that, then we've actually won everything. But That's any competition, any competition I'm in, yeah, I want to win. Like, if Chelsea are in the Europa Conference League, yeah, I'm not going to enjoy it because it's not the Champions League yeah, or fair. the Europa League. But I still want to win it. But would you? But say- it's, it's more embarrassing if we're in it and we don't. Imagine if we're in that no. and we don't win it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. So nah, the teams that are that. in the teams I that are in Europa Conference League, if Chelsea are in that competition and don't win it, I would be embarrassed. But I think you're better off just rolling out a young squad who's getting no minutes. Exactly. That's the thing. Getting yeah, knocked yeah, out and not wasting ways of your playing time, it, right? Mm. That's oh, what I mean. I just get eighth and just don't play in Europe. Yeah, I understand that. But I just feel, yeah, I, I would just put it as like... Probably quite good for Graham Potter, though, next season. To yeah. actually have a competition like that where you're actually playing in Europe, yeah. but you've actually got time yeah. to... And you haven't got... It's not yeah. a competition where you're like, obviously, Champions League from the start, you're tested <laughs> with the teams that you That's you've the faced. one thing, I think. So, Graham Potter has to learn... Like, at certain levels as well, you still... Mm. You are learning on the job. Mm. Like, even when Arteta came in, obviously, he won the FA Cup, so that bought him a lot of time. Mm. But, like, this is his first managerial job ever. Mm. Yeah. Like he's gonna make mistakes. Yeah. Like it's not like you're a coach, therefore now you know and you've what worked, to do. You've worked alongside yeah. Pep, so you he, know what that doesn't work exactly. like that. Yeah. He obviously like has ideas and stuff that he's learned from Pep, but equally, he must the first day he must have been the coach, you're like, what, what the fuck am I what? doing? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> what, how weird where'd you yeah. start? I've yeah. never had a, a manager meeting before. But that's why I asked the question about Graham knowing about these signings and he's asking for these signings. Yeah. Cause I think the amount of money you all spent. And the, the level of signings that they're brought in to be, he's not, that cuts his time down. You he, don't think? He, uh, but I don't think those signings, I don't think he was the one that was like, let's go out and get Enzo Fernandez, let's go out and get yeah, Jao Felix. No, we've it, actually got now, like we've actually got people that are very good at doing that. In, yeah, yeah, like you, have, yeah. you know, Todd Bowley, everyone's like laughing because he has had no say in Enzo Fernandez. It would have been Paul Wynn Stanley, it would have been um, Christopher Villel, I think he came from mm-hmm. Leipzig. They are people that are very, very good yeah. at their jobs and they've yeah. been brought in to do that. So Todd Bowley hasn't had... He's obviously, he's the money. one that's... that's yeah, him. Yeah, but I think it's, it's the manager's job to piece those things together. Yeah, and it's going to take you know, time. Like but make, it's going to take time for anyone. Those, to mend those pieces and build yeah. those, you know? And I think yeah. that's where I'm like, I don't know if Graham can... 
yeah. is going to have the time to <clears> do that <throat> with the amount of money spent. I think he will have the time. You think? Yeah, because I, I've read today, so David Ornstein, yeah. who he... The GOAT. He is, the, I absolutely yeah, love that goat. man. What a Definitely. lovely man as well. Mm. Um, he he did, like, he came out with a with an article and just said, like, they, they're they judging it on years. They're not judging it on months. Oh, really? So, yeah, they said, yeah, they no do. matter, like, if he gets Champions League or he doesn't this season, he's not going to be judged. He's going to be judged when he's had a couple of years in the job, yeah. a year to implement his own ways of playing mm -hmm. and but obviously it's it depends how bad it gets as exactly, well exactly. yeah that's what i was, I was about so to like, say because but how it, bad's it bad better. like how bad's bad well it depends as well because you that, guys are in europa league for the next two seasons i think if you, if you, i, I if think you, if that was us that's fine you that's I was, what I'm saying. because chelsea your your expectations are so high because you have mm -hmm. won everything yeah yeah and because you have like no matter what you do you always have chances of success yeah so you're Standards are so 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 yeah, high. So or even, higher than let's us. even go sooner than that. Yeah, let's way say, higher. Let's say by next January, going into next January, you're outside of top four. I don't think he'll be oh, be outside of top four. Yeah, it's very it, possible. No, but yeah, but it depends how far like how far are we talking. Are we talking the same position we're in now, or we're like tenth, or are we saying oh, I mean, just like, like fifth? Let's say like seventh, sixth, seventh. It depends how far you are off yeah, the top four. I think yeah. there's a lot that a lot that yeah. I just think even then because it's the still is, like there is as much because you look at you look around at the teams. Arsenal, hopefully top in yeah. top four around that time of the year. Yeah, never know. City, yeah. Newcastle now. Yeah, Liverpool. Man Liverpool won't be like that next year. Yeah, Man United. United. I yeah. think that list of like the top six is like, yeah, shifting a bit maybe. It's shifting. It's You'd like to think though by next January this team will have had a lot of time to play together I mean, as well. Chances yeah. are you're gonna be in a better space. Yeah, in a better spot. Than I think now. we're set. Like we are set. Like when I look at the team, and I look and like Reese James came out today and was like. I think we're, we are actually building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've actually got young, good young players, some of the best young players in world football. Yeah. So I think it's, I think it's positive. Oh yeah, you definitely mm -hmm. have you know things to to work with, like especially your yeah. young players. And obviously Reese is the goat as well. Reese so is the absolute Ridiculous. goat. But if that guy could stay fit for a season, it would be great. Yeah, yeah. Because he is injured far too much. Yeah. Well, he is, we're a one man team. Okay, not so much anymore. No, but, the, but when he I played, we, he makes his production the is really biggest yeah. difference. He's the most transformative player in your team. Oh my God, team. ridiculous. Yeah. I think as much as even like having Kante back, amazing. Mm. But Reese James literally transforms the way you like, yeah. defend and attack. Yeah. Mm. He's so good. Yeah, he's class. He is so I, good. I would say though, with like, giving years to managers though mm. even with Arteta I'm sure they came in and were like look we believe in you but equally we're not naive enough to think that this is all going to go perfectly mm. well so we'll give we're going to give you at least say three years yeah, yeah but he had more keys but, in his ring though yeah but also there does come a point where you are given those years but it can only get so mm. bad until you do have to just pull the cord it has to get. It has, to, see, it right? has to get better. It, it can't. Course. It can't get worse now. Yeah. yeah. If it, do, if it gets point, worse now, then I think there was a point back in the day where it was that run before he started introducing the the kids with like M's and mm -hmm. everyone, right? When we it's were Chelsea. on that awful run. Yeah. And I think it was like, yeah, Chelsea. If we didn't Chelsea win match. that game, for example, if we lost the game, I think he would have gone. Because it actually, actually got so bad. I yeah, looked at all hired. the reds. Of, co of course. But I'm just saying they, there are levels to how bad it yeah. can get where you just, you can't ignore it. See, I as think, much as you see the longer term. I budget, agree. I which think, I love. I think at that time, the ownership group, I mean, obviously I'm speculating, yeah. but I think they were looking at other things other than things that happened on the pitch. They're looking more at the culture oh, okay, of the club okay, and yeah, the locker fair. room mm. more than they're looking at thing. results. Mm. Oh, do you know, it's really funny. That run of fixtures you had where it was really, really bad mm. is very similar to our run of fixtures now. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. and I saw like the graphic of, of you know, it was Boxing Day, wasn't it, when we played you? Mm -hmm. And we were like, I just knew we were going to lose. Like, I just knew it. You know, when you've been on such a bad run that I just knew... It always happens against Chelsea. Everyone who's on a bad run suddenly decides to beat us. Like Southampton and Leeds this season. I think the last two games they won yeah, were against us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they are very similar runs of results. Um, that abruptly stopped because we ran out of battery on one of the cameras. So thank you guys. I know they're off camera as well. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you to Olivia. Hi. <laughs> and thank you to Ethan uh, for coming on the chat. I appreciate it very much. Thanks thank for having you. me. Thanks for having me, bro. Um, and yeah, looking forward to hopefully sustaining our title challenge on Wednesday. Let's go. And yeah. then being you, oh yeah, and then April. We'll get you back on in April. Yeah. Or if you, whenever Before you want, or after. Wanna. Yes, mm. we'll do a little. It should be both. Before, so. yeah, I think it needs to be, yeah. Okay, nice. Talk that shit on yeah, here. No, yeah. <laughs> Talk that shit. <laughs> um, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know. Get involved in the conversation in the comments below. And I'll see you again next week for the Monday football show that comes out on a Tuesday.